Hey everybody, welcome to another What Makes This Animation Great. But today, something a little bit different. We're gonna talk about the mashup. And what is the mashup? Well, the mashup is mixing mechanics with other mechanics or mechanics and narrative, like storytelling or scenarios. Uh, why is this important? Well, because if we wanna get past just exercises in, in motion studies and taking reference and just copying it, we wanna really get into entertainment and think about character acting, character moments, and really entertaining animation, then we wanna get past just copying reference and do something a little bit more exciting. So the mashup is a really great way to think about doing this, especially for students who are trying to get away from just doing basic exercises and get into more character-driven shots. So buckle up, stick around, and watch this. Yeah. You've ruined everything, and now it's time to die. Any last words, Gru? You know what? I got two words for you. Dance fight. Oh, it is unlike Donkey dance. Kong. I am going to enjoy this. All right, so as an instructor, I've seen a lot of students come through my classes and do a lot of shots. And the thing that I see the most, almost every single class with beginning animators is they oftentimes will take the piece of reference from YouTube or some other source. And what they'll do is they'll just basically observe it and copy it pose for pose and are really afraid to break away from it and start to get into embellishment or storytelling character moments. And for them, it's just much easier to, to kind of go through and try to mimic the mechanic. And it's understandable, of course, but we really want to start thinking about the kinds of shots we're going to be doing on feature films or commercials or television or even games. This is a great way to start doing that. Think about the next time you're doing a shot about taking a mechanic and maybe mixing it with another mechanic. So for example, right here, we have dancing and fighting, right? What we could also do is we could take a mechanic like parkour or gymnastics or whatever, right? And we can start to think about putting a scenario to it so that our character is forced to start to assess the situation that they're in, make decisions, react on the decisions, using mechanics to maybe, for example, get away from bad guys. Um, this is just a really great way to start to introduce, again, learning mechanics, moving the body around, learning how to do weight shifts, timing, spacing, extreme poses, stretch and squash, all those things that we want to put into our animation, but also starting to get into character moments, mannerisms, body language, posture, uh, thought process, and then using all that stuff to create a small story. So again, a real quick video tonight, but I just want to put that in your brain, put that seed out there, and, and especially for you students to be thinking about these kinds of things that will help you catapult your animation from just exercises to demo reel shots. Okay, thanks for watching. Again, if you want to check out my website, real-monster.com, I've got a course over there. I've got a community building right now that has uh, guest speakers, monthly Q and A's, demo reel assessment sessions, live meetups, uh, chats, all that stuff's in there. Um, check it out. Otherwise, have a great night. Thank you for watching and happy animating.